Yo, 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 it's oh, Vertflow. What's going on, you guys? How are you guys doing today? Bringing you some more Black Ops 3. Hope that you guys enjoy the video while I talk to you guys about the new score streak buff and the new weapon buff. If you guys don't know, there was a huge patch slash hotfix that just came out for Black Ops 3, and we just got the details on it today. So I want to go ahead and let you know all of the buffs. There's a ton of buffs that happen to the weapons and a ton of buffs that happen with the score streaks. I'll give you guys my opinions on that after I list the weapon buffs. I'm also going to link it down below if you guys want to go read it yourselves. You're more than welcome to. Make sure you drop a like on the video if you support the content and subscribe if you're new. Tons of new information here on the channel. And we just passed 65,000 subscribers, which is super duper cool, you guys. So thank you so much. Go ahead and drop a like. Let's shoot for 5,000 million. And let's get into the updates, guys. So first thing we're going to cover are the weapon updates. Now with the SMGs, we got some updates to some of them some of them were nerfed some of them were buffed the cuda has an increased ability to control recoil now i love the cuda i thought the recoil was uh, was pretty good already but with an increased ability to control it this weapon is even better so the cuda is going to be even better the vmp has a time increased when adsing and a hip fire spread increase so that thing got a nerf it's going to take a little bit longer to aim down sights and you're not going to be able to hip fire as well with it the Weevil got an increased ability to control recoil, which obviously means that it's going to be more accurate at a distance, which is good. I, I wish that they would up the damage on the Weevil, because honestly, that thing feels like you're shooting, like, tiny bunnies at people. Like, it's not even that good. Like, take this bunny, bro. The Vesper got redu uh, reduced lethal range. So, the Vesper is an amazing gun. It was an amazing gun, at least. We'll see how it plays after the patch. But, as of right now, it's going to have less range on it, which kind of sucks. But it's, it's still going to be a fantastic gun. That thing is like a SMG shotgun in my opinion. You just hip fire that while you're close and you'll take everybody out. The Razorback got a buff. Increased ability to control recoil and increased lethal range. That means it's going to be deadlier at a distance. And you're going to be able to, have to control it a lot better at range. Which is really, really good in my opinion. It's not going to bounce all over the place. <coughs> That's what she said. Assault Rifles. The KN44 got an increased ability to control recoil, which is amazing. The KN44 did have a lot of recoil to it, so it's good that they buffed that. The XR2 was nerfed with a movement speed re reduction, so it's going to move at a slower speed. The XR2 is that three-burst rifle, if you don't know about it already. It's actually really good. I believe that they already nerfed it once to make it not as strong, and now they nerfed it again to reduce the speed, which actually really sucks. I, actually, I really like that gun, and now if it's going to be nerfed again... Uh, I, I don't know, man. We're going to see how that plays. The HVK, increased ability to control recoil. Once again, another gun that I thought was really good already. And now they are going to increase its ability to control recoil, which means you're going to be more accurate, which is good. The gun was already good, and they increased it even more. Let's check. What? The ICR was buffed as well. Increased ability to control recoil. You're going to be able to be more accurate. The hip fire spread was reduced, so you're going to be able to hip fire better. And they fixed an issue with the reload animation when a certain magazine was equipped. The Man of War got an increased ability to control recoil. I thought that gun was already really good, so increased ability with recoil is even better. It's a slow firing weapon, so you're going to be able to be on target all the time. The M8A7 catches a nerf, man. So the M8A7 was nerfed. It's the four round assault rifle. And it was nerfed to have a fire rate reduction, which means you're not going to be able to get those shots off just as quick. But you still kill in four shots, so one burst will still kill. So uh, I think that it probably should remain a pretty strong weapon, in my opinion. These shotguns, KRM-262, they removed a three-hit kill. It's now guaranteed kill for two hits, which means that it was significantly buffed. The breachy uh, increased lethal range. You're going to get an uh, increased range with that semi-automatic shotgun which is great and the haymaker also got an increased lethal range so hopefully these guns will actually be really good again like i'm a big fan of shotguns if you guys haven't noticed i like to play on nuketown a lot and so i'm a big fan of shotguns it's nice to see those get a buff absolutely beautiful the lmgs the dingo got a movement speed increase and increased ability to control recoil which is great obviously it's a good gun and lmgs were kind of looked at as not the best but now in this game, I gotta say, if you have not used the LMGs, they're really good, man. You, you should try them out. The 48 Dredge got a fire rate reduction, which um, I've used it a good amount. And I'd say it was it's a strong gun, dude. It's strong. If they want to reduce the fire rate, then that's totally cool. I think it will still be pretty good. As far as pistols are concerned, the MR6 got a movement speed increase, which means you're going to move faster 
when you got that handgun out the rk5 got movement speed increase but a reduced lethal range now i thought the rk5 is probably the worst of the three pistols if anything they should be buffing this not nerfing it and that <coughs> you guys oh my god <coughs> i cannot this cough this cough, th dude winter what is wrong with winter man winter freaking give me this cough bro get out of my face mr winter frosty the snowman get out of here turn on my fireplace son and just chill out hot chocolate you know what i'm saying that'll be good but this cough will not go away it's so frustrating the elkar 9 got a movement speed increase but it got reduced damage reduced lethal range and the hip fire spread was increased so it got worse in all areas but now you're faster with it they already nerfed this once and they nerfed it again man ah we'll see how that works i don't know right now it's looking like the mr6 the first handgun is probably gonna be the best one now we're getting to this the score streaks this is pretty interesting you guys they had a lot of buffs and i'm gonna give my opinion on it afterwards but yeah the hdxd had ex its explosive damage increase the dart had explosive damage increase for collision explosions when you actually run into somebody with it the handling was improved and the speed was reduced a little bit so you'll be able to go a little bit slower fixed an issue where the dart was not locking on to enemy players as well so now it locks on to enemies which is great the talon has ai control damage slightly increased which means you'll get more kills with it the mothership got an increase in missiles required to destroy it by two so now you're gonna have to shoot two extra missiles at it which i think is good i want like you to have to shoot eight missiles at a mothership dude if you get the biggest kill streak in the game the enemy team should know that you're about to freaking destroy them that's what they should know also the owner turret explosive damage bullet increased and the rocket turret projectile speed increased on the mothership as well the hellstorm cluster bomb effect had its explosive damage increased and the rolling thunder has explosive radius per drone increase plus they added four more pairs of drones and the health per drone was increased with the explosive damage per drone increase which is awesome so the rolling thunder is actually a good kill streak now it doesn't suck super bad like it did before it's actually pretty decent the cerberus had its in its missiles increased what increased missiles required to destroy it by one so you have to shoot another missile at it and they increase the amount of emp grenades required to destroy it by one so it's going to take a little bit more damage which is good the uav got an increased base health so did the counter uav the gi unit got an increased number of war machine hits required to destroy slightly increased duration so it's going to last a little bit longer and it's got a slightly decreased time stun when hit by an emp grenade the wraith got increased base health and they fixed an issue where the flag drone would not intercept incoming missiles the lightning strike got a reduced time between target selection and payload delivery so it's going to come down even faster and the wraps the final score streak got an increased number of missiles required to destroy the deploy ship by one so it only took like two before or one if you got it when it was coming in which is good so they up that which is awesome increased health per drone so you can destroy them as quick and the explosive damage was also increased so they will get more kills for you that's going to be all of the updates in this weapon patch and score streak buff hope that you guys enjoyed that my thoughts on this dude it's good that they're buffing the weapons they should be you know i think that a lot of the weapons are pretty well balanced but go ahead and buff them don't don't nerf anything keep everything buff because dude i gotta say something you guys um dude i've been playing a lot of star wars battlefront and a lot of black ops 3 star wars battlefront when you get a kill streak quote unquote like you become darth vader or whatever you kill like 15 20 dudes in black o and like i'm addicted to that right now that's so much fun and that's something that call of duty had and now it's lacking when i get a kill streak i'm not really that excited in black ops 3 i'm like yeah cool an extra four kills you know but in older call of duties in black ops 2 for example if you got the dogs you were like you're pumped you you get in these dogs they're about to wreck the enemy team they're about to destroy them you're gonna get 15 20 kills and i miss that dude like i'm the fan. I, feel, I feel like the only players who don't like that are people who aren't that good at getting kill streaks because granted there's gonna be sometimes when you get in the game and the enemy team's destroying you dude but then there's other times where you get the kill streaks and you destroy the enemy team and that amount of fun factor is what made call of duty so great and these kill streaks even though they buff them they're still not that good dude so i've played with the wraith since the patch i've played with like the other stuff since the patch and especially the wraith though dude i still destroy wraiths in like two missiles man it's absolutely ridiculous you still shoot that thing down way too fast in my opinion you still are able to destroy everything too quickly the kill streaks like 
you're literally probably better going with more attachments on guns than using kill streaks. Like, okay, so that doesn't even make sense because you use the kill streaks regardless of your pick. But you know what I'm saying, man. Like, if somebody was like, would you rather run lightning strike or run extra attachments? I'd take the extra attachments because, unfortunately, the kill streaks in this game are underwhelming. And they said that they're going to increase these in small increments until they get them perfect. You need to just straight up buff all the kill streaks right now. This is a totally different video rant. I'm going to make this video for you guys like tomorrow. But god dang it, you guys. Buff the score streaks more. They still are not that good, dude. But either way, that's a that's a new update. Excited about the weapon buffs. Uh, kind of upset about the weapon nerfs. And I think that they should buff the score streaks more. But at least they're trying, you guys. That's it for the video. If you made it to the end, go ahead and say, I don't know, uh, freaking send those score streaks to the gym, son. They're trying to get buff in the comment section below. So I know you made it to the end. I love you guys a ton. And I am over. And now.